Hey, how's it going? This is your right, Riga here. Alright, so for those of you who were watching the Ice Queendom reviews, the few of you that is, would know this was coming, and likely even less of you will actually be watching this, so it doesn't really matter. I actually plan on trying to do like a big art piece kind of thing for you to watch happening while I was talking, but that might take several days if it even worked, and outside factors have sped up me making this, so... Uh, there probably won't be many visuals, but that's alright, I'm just gonna talk real quick. Although I say that having no idea what the time code down the bottom says, I'm probably lying, it might take a little bit. But, I just wanted to make an update video. Not only are we approaching the end of Ice Queendom, and there'll be another gap before Volume 9, but also some other things are changing around here, and rather than just post new content without any sort of warning, I wanted to make a little update video and talk about things, so if you have the time, I'd appreciate the listen. So here we go. This is taking back the channel, and no, it wasn't hacked or stolen or anything. I kinda need to explain. Basically, I made the classic writer's mistake with this channel, and I wrote myself into a corner. I've been around the internet for a long time in different places, and I know it's a bad idea to open yourself up to be vulnerable. Especially if you're a critic who, you know, talks about other things, people are going to be mad at you, it's a bad idea to give those people ammunition to fire back at you when they know it's going to hurt you. But either way, I'm going to make that mistake, because I'm going to be vulnerable for a second and talk about some real stuff about why I'm making this. When it comes to this channel, I've run into a big issue. When I first created it, this was not meant to be a Ruby channel. I just did some Ruby videos to start because they were on my mind at the time and I needed a starting point, and they sort of did well, so I kept doing them and kept going, and I was really enjoying it. Because honestly, making things makes me happier. I'm the happiest when I'm creating things. Before anyone gets scared, I'm not abandoning Ruby, this isn't leading to that. But this is no longer just a Ruby channel. And I've said that before. I've tried a few other things here and there that got no traction and I sort of gave up on them. And I knew the Ruby stuff, if I posted it, would get more views because that's what I got most of my audience from. In fact, that's one of the reasons I wanted to have a Ruby sort of art thing in this video because I knew if I put Ruby in the title, more people would watch this update video, but that didn't happen. So now it's just for you lucky few who happen to get it in your sub box, I guess. And I want to be clear, I love Ruby, I love talking about it, I love theorizing about it, I've made a lot of videos about it. But the truth is, after this extended time between volumes, I've stretched out a lot of content to keep Ruby presence on the channel. I've never forced myself to make a video I didn't want to make, but I knew if I wanted anyone to look at my stuff, I'd have to make Ruby videos. And despite the fact I enjoy Ruby, that sort of starts to wear on you. And the fact is, I'm kinda right, the algorithm would totally bury me because my views would be constantly low. Every time I tried something new, it did very poorly. But this got to the point where, like, two weeks ago or something, here's the truth. I made a new channel. A totally new channel. I didn't mention it to anyone, I didn't even show, like, online friends, I made it under a different name, and I made it for a video unlike anything I usually put on my channel. And I had so much fun making that one video. I thought, this is what I'll do now. I'll keep this channel, you all right, for all my theories and written out stuff, and I'll just play around and make fun stuff on this other channel as someone else. But then I realized how stupid that was. I just needed to go through all the steps of doing it to realize. The truth of the matter is, I have a channel right here, a monetized channel that has a small audience, why would I make a new channel from scratch and try and get an audience, try and get it monetized again, and try and get fun things on it when that's what I always intended for this channel? I tried, but I would get extreme anxiety on this channel when I ever thought of putting a lot of work into a non-Ruby video only to post it here and not only get no views on it, but also likely lose subscribers who are only here for Ruby. But honestly, when it comes down to it, I don't have that many subscribers. Let's be honest, I love all of you guys. I really do. You guys make me so happy when you comment and when I see people engaging, it's awesome. It makes me feel like what I'm doing has any kind of purpose. But 4,000, I'm not even at 4,000, I'm struggling to get to 4,000, is not a lot of subscribers on YouTube. I shouldn't be this worried about posting new things and trying new things. Why have I written myself into this Ruby corner and why does it get to me? It's certainly nothing that anyone in my audience did wrong, it's none of your guys' fault, it's all on me. But, like a lot of people, I get in my own head about it. So that's what this update is. I've said this before in other updates, but I actually mean it this time. I'm drawing a line in the sand and we're no longer just a Ruby channel. I'm gonna be trying a whole bunch of stuff. 
And look, as Ice Queendom has been going, I've realized I've been hitting a bit of a ceiling for subscribers with Ruby. Like I said, I'm struggling to get to 4,000. And when it's volume nine, I will sure get some subs that'll be interested in Ruby again. And when it's on in full swing, and then that'll last for 10 weeks or so, and then it'll go dark again. And why am I just doing that to myself? I need to stop. I'll give you an example. I watched, rewatched, and wrote a full script for like a comedic sort of review reaction thing to the last Pokemon trailer. And I never made it. I never made it because I was going to put it on the other channel. Then I realized all the work I'd put into it to post it on the empty channel was pointless. Then I thought about putting it here, and then I thought no one would want to see that. And then after a few days, it was past the point where anyone cared about the Pokemon trailer, so there's no point. But why didn't I just make it? Make it and post it. I don't know, but I'm going to be doing that from now on. I have a new motto around here. I'm making what I want when I want. I refuse to be put into a genre or style of video. When you come to my channel, everyone knows what to expect. Like, my style as it were, with all the still frames and me sort of just talking. Why do I do that? Well, the honest answer is that mostly it gets around copyright very well. Obviously, I don't steal from anyone, my content is pretty transformative, but for dodging the auto detector and claims it works pretty well, especially when I'm talking about a series that's many volumes deep, so anyone watching my stuff is already aware of what's going on, so they don't need the video footage. And I've never had a single copyright claim on any video. And usually what I'm doing and what I'm talking about is more important than the visuals. I also have some tech trouble with capturing footage and stuff, but that isn't all totally solved. But I can capture a bit of footage, and I intend to start doing that with some of what I'm going to make, but not all of it. I still am very, very wary, especially if using any footage from anime, because Japan does not care. They are harsh, savage, and ruthless. If you need an example, go watch anyone try to react to a Ghibli film and tell me how that goes. However, I'm working on something entirely different for anime that I'm hoping will work out, although it might be a while before you see it, because I actually need to learn how to do it, if it's even possible, but it could be really cool. But the point is this, if I watch a movie that I want to talk about and do like a review of it, like a movie reviewer YouTuber, I'm gonna do that. However, it goes beyond that. The other day, I really, really wanted to talk about what was happening in wrestling. I know that none of my audience care about wrestling, but I wanted to talk about it, and I now am just going to talk about it if I want to. If I want to talk about anything, I'm going to make a video on it. If I want to talk about a video game trailer, I'm going to do it. An anime, I'm going to do it. That's just how it is. And as much as I love you guys, if you aren't interested in those things and you can't stand them appearing in your sub box, then it's goodbye. Although I hope that isn't the case. I will reiterate, I am still making Ruby stuff, but what I make is up to me, and when I make it is up to me because otherwise things are going to grind to a halt. Which brings me on to series of videos. Let's get the big one out of the way, Ruby Runs. Let's talk Ruby Runs. Okay, so no, it is not cancelled. There is a problem though. The problem is Ruby Runs take a lot of effort, a lot of time to plan. They take a lot out of me to perform them all, which I don't think is up to standard, but they do take a lot of effort. And they get very few views, like along the lines of sort of my average Ruby views for quite a bit more effort than the rest of them. And every episode gets less views than the one before it. I should stop making them, but I won't. However, I have no idea when they're coming because truthfully with those circumstances, I need to be in the mood to make them. I need to be feeling it. And it's not that I don't have things planned. I do have things planned. I pretty much know where they're going. But to sit down and make them and write them all out word for word and do all that for not much return is a lot of work. And if I'm not enjoying it, it will not come out good. And I want them to be good. That's why, aside from Ruby runs, I'm probably not doing as many things in series, like part one, part two. Ruby is Ruby, sure, I probably will review each of those episodes singularly, at least that's the plan for now. But otherwise, after I finish Ice Queendom, and I will finish that as well, I'm thinking reviews in series, like episode by episode, are gonna be not something I do. So if I'm reviewing, let's say, something random, I don't know, what's the... Trigun, I don't know. For some reason I'm reviewing Trigun, I do it as a whole, or at least a season as a whole. But if I were to do that, it also means that those things take longer, because I'd have to watch the whole series 
take notes on it and then write the thing and edit a lot more stuff, you get the point. But the point is those might take a bit longer, but that way I can hopefully put out something more complete that you can watch in one video and avoid the issues of dwindling views on every subsequent video. And that means that each video instead might be its own new thing. I might do season two of something if there's a good response, but you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, the last thing I really want to talk about is changes in presentation and look. This is going to change a little bit. I will quickly address, I got asked why I changed my avatar. Truth be told, I came up with my old avatar about 10 minutes before making my first video because I needed one and a sort of pretty blank robot with expressions I could change seemed like it would work out. And no one else is really doing like a real photograph of their mascot, so I don't know, it just seemed kind of different and a bit unique and I kind of like the whole hand-drawn thing of it. The one I have now is basically just an update. It's a lot more clear to see, which is the biggest thing, and stands out more on the screen. It's a bit more humanoid, and I don't know, it's just a bit closer to me. It's sort of a devil ghost thing, I don't know what to call it. But I've always pictured myself as being a bit devilish and playful, despite how, I don't know, bland I can come off in some of these videos. Because a lot of the, what I'm doing so far is very analytical. And the joke of a literal ghost rider I thought was very cute. However, I couldn't be a white cutout with a round body and a wispy tail without looking like I was on my way to fertilize some eggs. So the tail kind of got changed and it ended up like this. And I kind of like whatever this turned out to be. Now I have this character, and it still might change here and there, I don't know. But so may the rest of this show. I've spent the last week or two in Photoshop trying to build a new set to present the show. It's not done yet, and I need to make sure it's actually going to work how I want. There's no guarantee it will, I might have done all this work for nothing. But hopefully it'll be a little more interesting to look at than always just having the paper background. So don't be surprised when things look a bit different one video, then different again in the next. I'm at a stage of evolving how I do all of this, and it might take a while to settle on something. But that just about covers it really. Long story short, I'm taking this channel back to what it was meant to be. I'm going to be putting more of myself into it. I'm going to be telling more jokes because I want to be more entertaining. If I want to make a video just because I think it will be funny, I'm going to do that. I'm not always going to be analytical and very even on everything. Believe it or not, I'm not a killjoy. I do like to have fun. But if I also want to talk about something seriously, I'll do that too. If I want to make a random video of a drawing just because I want to, I'm going to do that. It doesn't have to be Ruby either. If I want to draw characters that aren't Huntsman, I'm just going to do that. And I'm still up to draw Huntsman. I'm going to make what I want when I want. And look, there's a good chance I say this and then immediately in like two days there'll be a new Ruby video because I'll have got the spark back to make one. But what I want is that spark. I want to be excited about making videos again, including the Ruby ones. That will make all those videos better because I'll be excited to make them. It'll make me feel better and hopefully it'll make the videos better. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you understand and hopefully you're ready for wherever this may take us. My goal is to get to the point where I don't feel that stomach grinding anxiety at the thought of hitting upload on a video just because it's not Ruby. And I get motivated to get back to what I loved about making videos, including the Ruby ones. When I first made this YouTube channel, I felt better than I had in a long time. And a lot of it was due to the great response I was getting. So of course I kept making that same content because I kept getting great responses and I was growing and I was finding an audience and people were interested in what I had to say. But, you know, it's started to grow old doing the same thing all the time. And I'm still happy to do those things, but let's not make it feel like a chore. Because that turns even the videos I want to make into less good videos. I know that YouTube will punish me for doing this. I know all the things I put work into won't get as many views, at least for a long time. I won't stop making Ruby videos, but they could be whatever. And I'm going to make everything else I feel like making as well, and I'm just going to put it on the one channel. I worked really hard to get this channel to where it is, but I think that rather than staying where I am, I'm going to take the lesson that I put in a lot of work to get here to believe in myself that I can grow it even further and into more things. And some things won't work and some things may work, who knows? But I'll only find out by trying. So basically, consider the air clear. That's what's happening. That's what I'm doing. And I made this video today without much of a look to it because Nintendo just announced another Pokemon trailer like imminently. It'll be out probably before this video. Am I gonna make a video about it? I have no idea. 
but I might. I really wanted to make one about the last one, so maybe. But just in case, I wanted to make this first so it wasn't super weird when I did or if I did. I'll tell you right now, there's something on Disney I really want to talk about, and I have very big Ruby videos planned that I still want to get to. But I don't want to try making them until I'm motivated to make them, because I want them to be the best they can, because I think they might be the four best or most entertaining Ruby videos I've ever planned to make. But I need to feel them. I want to feel motivated to make them. The only thing I won't be posting is probably gameplay. I wish I could, but I have absolutely no way to catch gameplay. I don't game on my computer at all. And I absolutely cannot afford a capture card, and the only thing I really want to play is my Switch anyway. So. You probably won't get game content, but game trailers? Hell yeah, I'm happy to make fun of those and talk about them, because why not? And anyway, look, overall, that's all for now. This is not a downer video, this is an exciting video. And I think the big takeaway is, it's not really changing what's going to be happening for you guys. Because, yeah, there was a period where I was putting out a Ruby video every week, but then there was a period where I didn't put out any videos for a couple weeks. And if I'm putting out videos that you don't care about in those weeks, you don't have to watch them. But when the Ruby videos come, they come, and when I make something else, I'm just gonna make something else. I'm not hiding from that. This is my channel, and I hope you enjoy it, so I'm making what I want to make. So, the times are changing, and I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And that's all for now. And I love that I'm excited. I can't wait to see what the future holds. And until next time, which hopefully won't be very long, my name is Riga. I really hope you had a wonderful day. And I hope you're all excited because this is what's going to happen from now on. Peace.